Crazy corn. Crazy corn? I mean, you're, you're taller than I am, actually. We're about the same about height. About the same. I mean, if you look, I'm going to stand here. I, re I can reach an eight-foot ceiling. And I mean, it's eight foot to the corn. Come on, you, okay. Danny. I want y'all to see, Leslie's reaching up here to this ear of corn. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> Look at that. She can barely reach it. Yeah, That's put it up against your arm and show them how the length. It's, so <laughs> it's almost That's as long as... unbelievable. It's almost, I mean, this is corn that I developed here, you know. It's almost as long as her arm. Isn't that awesome? One down. One down. <laughs> and then this one here is about eight feet high. It's a good one. And look at the size of this ear right here. This is a perfect ear. I mean, you just don't get any better than that right there. And what kind of corn is this? Danny corn. <laughs> is this field corn? It's or field corn. Field we corn. call this shucking and jiving with Danny squared. Dual Danny's. Yeah, I'm so amazed there's no worms hardly. That would be called double the pleasure. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yeah. Double mint gum. More like double trouble. <laughs> so when you say, when you call this Danny corn, how did it get to be Danny corn? 25 years ago, I took different varieties that I really liked. And I would plant one year, I would plant one variety, but I would always keep some of my seed from the year before and plant a small patch. And I would take the tassels from the other field. I go through and cut all the tassels off the tops of my corn. And I would go get the tassels from the other corn and I would bring them over and I would pollinate my corn with the genes from that other corn. Mm -hmm. And then when that corn made, I would save those seed replant them the following year and in another field way off I'd plant another variety that I had that had a trait that I really liked mm -hmm. and I did that until I developed my corn so this has all the traits of I think it's eight different varieties of corn put mm -hmm. together and it's not a hybrid mm -hmm. Mm. it actually comes back true to its own every year it looks like this right now but in about three weeks it'll be purple red blue, white, it'll be all kind of different colors. And you still eat it, obviously. Oh yeah, yeah, it makes great cornmeal, mm -hmm. makes good flour, but it just, it's just good to eat. That's beautiful. Turned out fine, and no worms. I know, I didn't that's see amazing. One. No worms. People will learn, those things go in cycles. Insects go in cycles. You, you've learned every year, when you start seeing certain insects pop up in your garden, go make a journal, go write it down. Mm -hmm. The next year, do the same thing, and after two or three years, you'll begin to see the cycle where you're at when the eggs hatch out. And you'll know to plant based on those cycles. And, and that's hey y'all, it's a beautiful morning out here on Deep South Homestead. We're picking uh, blackberries and figs and cucumbers. And I just want y'all to um, see some of these beautiful cucumbers that Danny and Wanda raised. Here's one, they're about the same. Well, one's a little bigger than the other. But man, I can't wait to taste one of these. We gotta wash them first, Wanda. <laughs> Good morning, guys. Well, they got me down here too, so I guess, guess I'll get me a few. I've got plenty more in here. Get them all. Yes, this is D&D. D for D&D <laughs> D from DSH. <laughs> SMH. We are, this is the Cherry Drop Blue Tomatoes. And they are delicious. They are fantastic. See him? Oh. Uh, hmm. You mash that thing on your hand, you can't get that sound. All right, tell them what you're doing, because I missed the... This. Um, well, I, and I'll show you what they're... I'll show you that. Look at that. I can't see That's it. what the stink bug does? Yeah, those stink bugs will Hold get on. on there, and they'll go right around that tomato, and they'll eat all the outside parts off of them. Just 
the stink bugs will tear up the pecans too. Oh yeah. Yes. Yeah, we have a big problem with that. Let's see. I It'll can't see a, the tomatoes. A dark you're picking. stain on the meat. Yep. Now these are the rose blue tomatoes. These this is predominantly the size that they get, about an inch and a half in diameter. They don't get it much bigger than this. But that's that's the size. I planted five different varieties of these things. Now that one, those two that the stink bugs got on, is it's still edible. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's still edible. I see I've got one, see how they eat a hole in the side of that one? I'll just probably save it for seed right here. Let me show what they are before see you him? do. Let me get He's gonna fly now if he flies. You got him? I think it's zoomed in. Okay. Yeah, I'll get them off and they will sting and sting you. Mm -hmm. Or that's not sting, it's a burn. They'll burn you. But they stink. Yeah, they, they stink, stink too. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Okay, guys. We just come in from Outside. walking around. It's cool down time. So Got the big fan. Yeah. Big heat buster. There you go, girls. This is what happened. I'll flash in. Cool the girls off. Yeah. The girls gotta be cool. <laughs> you gotta keep the girls cool. Yeah, That's right. The I, it's it's beautiful. It's perfect. It, it's functioning. Um, Great for the winter time when it's too oh, hot, yeah. especially down in South Alabama. Once we get yeah, going, y'all should seriously consider you. We'll one. be building a greenhouse before long. Hey, yeah, boy. Yeah, for sure. Um, no, you don't need to be in here. This is not yours. <laughs> There's just so, too many things that let her come in. Let her, we'll be that in. we want to grow, but but can't. Right. Our, you know, I have three avocados trees. Oh, that would be great right for now. A greenhouse. And yeah. um, you know, I had them up in the country. But since I don't have any place for them up there yet, right. I had to bring them back to the city and I'm watering and just keeping them alive until I can get a greenhouse. Well, every homestead needs a greenhouse, I can tell you Morning. that. Morning. That's some watermelon. Just if I'm going to eat fresh, then I, I prefer the winter ones. Right. Because the summer ones will get extremely, they're not bad, bad, bitter, but they do have a twang after right. you bite into it. Mm -hmm. Almost a pucker effect yeah. in your mouth. You're talking well, about if nothing else, you can feed them to the rabbits, right? We're talking to yeah. the about the carrots. Exactly. Yeah. You, know, you grow your own food. Grow your own food and feed them to the rabbits. Food. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, now I'm going to sure the chickens eat to tear them up. Oh, yeah, they'll peck on them like crazy. The yeah, uh, Marconi. Now see, I like that better than a bell pepper. Oh yeah, I, I prefer them over a bell pepper. Anyway. A pucker. Pucker up, mm. baby. That one's strong. <laughs> yeah. The summer carrot. Yeah, the summer carrots are extremely, mm. they're, they're extremely, they're just, they're just bitter to me, I'll just be honest. I, I, don't, I don't eat them in the summertime. Marconi is really good, it's sweet, crunchy. I like it because it's thin. Not as thick as... I don't as like that, the bell pepper's got that big old quarter inch thick skin on it and when you bite tough. into it it just it's tough and it's, it's like it splatters all in your mouth when you do it and the marconi is a thinner when you put it in something and cook it it, it almost goes away immediately when you put it in there gosh that smells so fresh yum no salt and pepper yeah <laughs> Well, that's good. I like that. Nice indigo I mean, blue tomato with it. Low yeah. olive oil. You know, I got smell it. Oh, she's a smeller. <laughs> okay, ready? one, two, three. Oh, that's the worst thing I ever put in my mouth. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> that is really stop. good. Wow, you can taste the cocoa and cinnamon. Oh, pudding pie. Okay, cocoa, persimmon, you know, it's delicious. <laughs> Have you ever had persimmon I swear before? I've never, I don't guess I've ever had a persimmon. 
swear it tastes chocolatey to me. Does it? It do? does. Yeah, isn't it wild? It does have a chocolatey taste to it. Okay, see, I'm not totally crazy, y'all. I think I got too small a piece. Asparagus. <laughs> it's what's for breakfast. You can't beat fresh asparagus. Just picked it. Delicious.